No sun shining today, but it's dry for the time being. And the Razorbacks and Spartans ready to conclude this midweek series. Number one ranked Hogs taking on the Spartans. Afternoon. For Arkansas, it'll be the lefty, Colin Fisher. Yeah, Fisher's just been Mr. Consistent on these midweek starts. He gets the ball on this Wednesday. And a good quality at bat, and that's what you expect out of Hamchuk. Fisher says, I'll win the battle this time. You're a left-handed batter. You don't really have the advantage compared to a right-handed hitter as McLaughlin will flip to Fisher and touch the bag. But, Troy, the numbers Bowling to say chase one outside the zone. That was a changeup down and away. A little slow hopper here. Charging up on it is Stovall. Off balance throw, but right on the money. Play at the plate. Fisher that ended up being reviewed. And turns on this. Laced into right center for a leadoff single. How good is Peyton Stovall seeing the baseball? Runner going. Not in time. It's all very well timed. Trying to look for an off-speed pitch. Well, there you go. That's going to be a double play ball if Stovall wasn't already on second. And instead, and he'll take his free base. Runs cutting through that win. And a little jam liner right at third. Kadena times his jump and makes the catch. Spartans get out of a jam. Of uh, that either one had it for sure. Catch for a season to go, and now it's Hudson White. Hardy will take a walk. He's probably going to ground out. This ball is hit well to left center. Edmondson right in front of the track makes the catch. Hardy will tag and get to third base. Cuts right in for strike three. Fisher stayed calm and hit his spot where he hit 15 homers a year ago. And he's on base here to lead off the second. Yeah, just a little cue shot off the end of the bat by Wagner, but you're trying to avoid staying the double play. Grounded to the right side, and it's off of Bowling's glove. Holding up at second is Wagner. First pitch, soft liner into right center. Stop sign given. Everybody moves up one. It gets another chance, though, with less than two outs. Stovall skies it up into right. Razorbacks will try to tag. Here comes Wagner. And it's a 1-0 ball game. Peyton Stovall comes through. Runner taken off. McLaughlin swings and drives one into right field. Hogs out of run here in the second. It's 2-0 with runners on the corners and a little two-out rally going. Senior right-hander Cody Frank on to pitch. Yeah, Cody Frank, you know what you're going to get from him? A whole lot of strikes. A guy that's just going to fill up the strike zone. You can see. Got him swinging. Yeah, I, th I think that it's what's a little unusual. Whoa, how about that being unusual? That thing hit a bounce pad. McLaughlin was right there waiting for it, and it just jumped and Hardy into second. Score. Popped up. Roland tracking it, and he makes the catch. Side retired. Holt into right field yesterday. That hit off the umpire's foot after it went past the diving Nathan Kadena. Trying to play catch up at a time of the year where it's difficult. That smoked inside of first base. Hogs picking on the corners. Stop sign given. It's a double for Peyton Stovall and his second hit of the game. Out of this lefty's hands. Couldn't hold up the swing there. Loud crowd, but it's still different. Getting on the mound, facing a live batter, than just out there throwing a, throwing a pin. And great job. So alive. Yeah. Is, is he on a milk cart? Is he still with us? Because we haven't seen him in a couple of weeks. <laughs> a little pot of moray hop by Bahiva Loy to make that catch. Is there any short? This one well hit. Playable in center, Edmondson makes the catch, and it's a 1-2-3 inning for Frank and the Hogs. DVH really liking to lock down that 
the middle part of that infield. He, he knows how critical. Well, if there's any comfort now getting him a second time. Looks like there is. Ball well hit and will fall in. Aloy headed for third. Runners on the corners here to start the fifth. You know, Troy, not only do you get a Souza going towards deep left center. This ball carrying and one hops to the wall. Aloy in, Diggs coming, here's the throw, and he's in safely. That was a great read by Diggs. He never hesitated. If he held his ground for a split second, he wasn't scoring. He read that ball was going to be down. And I got some Forrester trivia for you guys as well, depending on how this inning goes. Orduno going the other way with it. Laying out, making the catch. Flash the leather, Will Edmondson. Off the bat, it looked like he was going to be able to catch that ball pretty easily, and it it just continued to slice away from him. And you can say he just continued to stay locked in. His timing was impeccable. Might be a Sports Center nominee for the top ten. That was quite a layout at the end. Faraday strikes out the final two and retires the side in order. Four nothing. Hard hit, ground ball, sneaks past. How about 108 off the bat? That's a three for three day with a sacrifice fly and an RBI mixed in for Peyton Stovall. He's a guy that the Spartans would like him to continue to swing that hot bat. <laughs> <laughs> First pitch, Theo Hardy lines it into center field. Arkansas making a change to start this inning. Left hander. The hit here to lead off the seven ends a span of eight in a row. And this ball is crushed to right field. It is gone. Second straight day. Matt Spear going yard. Well, he's just one of those guys you cannot leave that pitch middle in because he's going to hurt you. That just made this a ball game. And then this is getting hits after getting the free bases this past weekend. San Jose State in the three-game series. Third base at the speed of Forbes. Lined hard towards center, diving, Edmondson, he did it again. Edmondson froze just a little bit trying to get a good read on that, and then he left his feet, and that's one of those plays you have to make. Mix in a over-the-top curveball. Wagner first pitch, hit well to deep left center. That ball's gone. How about 106? Off the bat of Jack Wagner, 413 and a half feet. That ball was center cut right down the chute. An aggressive Jack Wagner, he does not miss it. Third homer of the year for Jack Wagner. That's the first home run that Cushing has given up. In six previous appearances. Hits Ross Lovich. 2-2, hard hit grounder, diving stop at short. But on the exchange, Hardy lost it. Roland gets a good bunt down. Making the play is Kadena, sack bunt 5-3. Roland does his job. Season. This one skied up. It's a long run to make for Duno in center, and nobody's going to get there. Lovich trots in to score. Peyton Stowball's back. McLaughlin gets into this one. Deep left center, going back off the wall. Edmondson in to score. RBI double for Ben McLaughlin, his second RBI of the day. Aloy turns on it, hits it deep to left, and jumping up, making the catch is Hamchuk at the wall, but it's deep enough to score a run. Stovall in. And productivity for Vahiva Aloy. Just seeing the baseball and just getting to the right spot. Crowns this back up the middle, Hardy. Throws him out. Razorbacks get four, including one big swing to start the inning. Yeah, Jack. Slow hopper, this could be trouble. Souza 
Oh, he looks like a natural over there, doesn't he? You wouldn't know it was only his second start at third base. He was drafted last year. Taken into left field, bowling was due. You had to figure it was going to come at some point. Can't keep a hitter like that down for long. Three runs twice. And that was a four and a five spot. A little flip to second. The pitching continues to be excellent and the defense behind it. It does. It's been really solid. That fastball sit, 92, 94. Had some arm issues his freshman year, but he's really looking good now. Hardy pops this one up. Stovall makes the catch and there's one away. It's tournament run. Called strike three. 2 1. Ground ball, hit the short, or Stovall rather, in the shortstop position and makes the play. Cooper Dossett goes 1 2 3 in the ninth, and the Razorbacks have won their 23rd consecutive ball game at Baumwalker Stadium. Yeah, just a midweek series that Arkansas has done excellent. They just fielded the ball well, continue to pitch just exceptional in these midweek games. And this is a good San, uh, San Jose State team that is going to win a lot of ball games. And that's just Arkansas just taking care of business and protecting the home field.